back in the deep dark world of creepy messages. Let's go ahead and start this. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm okay. Glad to glad to hear. How's married life? Fantastic. Including the sex life? Now let's stop it right there. Uh, so we're talking about the married life, and this person immediately go, "How's the sex life?" Uh, see, let me add, let me tell you something, gentlemen. Uh, when you're talking to a man, I mean, <laughs> when you're talking to a woman, I would never suggest going from "How's the married life?" to "How's the sex life?" See, I told you, and I'll tell you this again: desperate men become animals. They can't think; they become vicious. The second they get into that mood, oh yeah, they can't think straight at all, at all. Instead of saying, how's the married life? Oh, it's good. All right. Hey, hey, well, if y'all ever need anything, y'all can hit me up. Nope. Go straight to how's the sex life, sir. That's not for you to know. You desperate men are piglets. I'm telling you. Uh, been better, but we'll get back to it once I get more sleep on a regular basis. Busy with the family. Ha ha. It, it's not that we're it's not that we're busy. It's that we're tired. That's funny. Do you masturbate when you're too tired for sex? <laughs> young man. Young man. Go get some help. Go bowling. Go hang out with your buds. Go do something else. See, men, when y'all have conversations with women, especially, you need to start asking yourself, men, when you get to this place, Am I being desperate right now? If men could just ask that right at the top, be like, hmm, am I being desperate? Not, am I being a simp? Not, am I being a loser? Ask if you're being desperate. Let's actually pinpoint it. Because being a loser can be a, a, a multitude of things. Being a simp can be a multitude of things. But if you can pinpoint, am I being desperate right now? That doesn't have to be a multitude of things. That could be like, am I trying to cause a situation because I am in the void of something? Yeah, see, desperate, can, that, that can really define what you're feeling. Desperation. You haven't had human interaction in a while with the woman. Or maybe you're, you know, you've been, you've been, <laughs> how, how would I say? It? You've been touching yourself a little bit too much, okay? It's never good to touch yourself anyway. But now you're touching yourself and now you got a little crazy. And now you're talking to a woman and now you're starting to get a little freaky. Gentlemen, <laughs> Don't be freaky with a married woman. Do not be freaky with a married woman, okay? It's not going to work out well for you, brother. At all. And you end up looking like a freaking creep. And you don't even end up looking like that. You are being a creep, sir. The fact that she had to say, bruh. <clears throat> Moving on. Bruh. Of course not. Are you male or female? You asked about my married life. Why did you think I'm married? Your profile says you are a wife. And that, my guy, is a hint on whether I'm male or female. Yeah, but you called me bro. And I'm not used to females calling me bro. <laughs> Lord help them, baby. Why would you even ask, are you male or female? That You saw that it said... <clears throat> Firstly, don't call women females. Adjective, okay. Noun, not okay. Secondly, women use bro too. Sorry for your mistakes. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm on the woman side here, but let me take a step back. See, see, for some of you women who do that, the, the whole don't call women females, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want to do. That's number one when it comes to that, okay? You're not going to tell me I can't call a woman a female because I call men males all the time man it's it's not an insult to call a woman a female okay he said females don't tend to call me bruh he wasn't saying and like what did he say disrespectful there that that i don't understand the thing he said earlier absolutely disrespectful clown clownery but the female part him saying females don't even say i say female sometimes it is not a disrespect when i say it sometimes I'm like, you know how females be it is the same thing he's saying, you know how women can be. It is just an interchangeable word for me. Woman, female. They are interchangeable. Okay? It's okay. That's the same thing as me going bro, dude, man, dog. Some of these words are interchangeable. That right there would have been like, okay, this person's crazy. And you walk away. But this person's also crazy. So, 
Sorry for mistakes. <clears throat> no worries. Can you share? S- <laughs> wow. Can you share some secrets to a successful sex life with your husband with me? I'm having some trouble in that department. Ha <laughs> ha. Sure. Okay. So you know what? I was on the woman's side, but both of them are fucking weird. I'm not having this discussion with nobody. If a person, a random stranger comes to me and says, hey, can you tell me about your sex life with your wife? Uh, no, I can't. If you want to have that discussion, you come to a men's retreat where we are discussing such things, but just randomly out of the blue. No, I'm not going to tell another woman how my sex life is with my wife. See, that's the problem. It's of opposite sex. I would never do that with a woman. I would never come to a woman and say, hey. Uh, I mean, I would never allow a woman to come to me and say, how's your sex life? Ma'am, I don't talk to women about that. I don't talk to females about that, okay? That is not. That is for you to go ask another woman. Don't come to me with the bullshit. Because it does, it, it's not a comfortable and it's not an appropriate conversation to have with somebody who's of the opposite sex. Just my opinion. I don't have those conversations. <clears throat> sure. Open communication is the key. If you have an issue, say right away before it gets a bit. Uh, by the way, men, if you have a wife and she's talking to another man about y'all sex life. Me, me. Boy, you need to sit her down quick and be like, hey, woman, female, wife. If I catch you having a conversation with another man about our sex life. Oh, baby. Anyway. I agree. Open communication is the key, but the culture and religious angle makes everything much more complicated. I got married last year, but am in a. (laughs) You saw what I saw, right? These two, both of them are married. What's that? I say. Me, me. I got married last year, but am in a dead bedroom relationship. For some reason, I am wondering if. There are things I can do to turn her on and things I could teach her to seduce me more so we can get in the mood. Even more reasons for communication. Can you tell me about your what? (laughs) Can you tell me about what about how your husband turns you on? Is this not appropriate to y'all two married individuals talking about sex? And first of all, man, why would you go to man? I'm trying to tell y'all, stop the foolery. It's it's stupid for this the conversation to be even. We're even having this conversation about how to turn your wife on. Why don't you just go ask her? You dip. I'm working on it, guys. I'm trying. Go ask her. Yeah, you know what? I have to agree with the woman here. Communication is the only way it's gonna work. Okay. That's the only thing you can do. And if your wife isn't turned on, baby, I, I don't know. You're going to have to figure out something different. What I will not suggest, I'm going to go ahead and come out here with this. I got to be honest. Do not start watching corn. That is not real life. Okay. What you see in corn is acting. And sometimes, you know, that's a story for another day. Y'all know how I feel about the industry. But nonetheless, it, it's not real. It's fake. Okay. It's fake. It's not, there's nothing real going on there. See, the beautiful thing about intimacy it is that it is a constant communication of what I like and what I don't like. OK. And what people think it happens, what happens in the movie, it's always hot and heavy. Let me break you all down for a quick, quick second. I'm going to try to keep it very PG. The aftermath of intimacy is not that great. OK. The aftermath. Now, in the middle of it, I'm sure things are great. But the aftermath is not always beautiful. Let me just say this, okay? Normally it involves a shower, a towel, and washing a lot of your stuff, okay? It's not the most beautiful thing on the planet, okay? Some of y'all people really fantasize and romanticize what it means to be intimate, and it should be when it's with your wife or a husband. But at the end of the day, because you spend so much time with this individual, it's not always roses and slow jams and all that sometimes it is just what it is sex (laughs) sometimes it just is what it is sometimes that's all that happens baby you get off she gets off and that's it that's the end of the night y'all go to bed after taking a shower please take a shower after you have 
please take a shower after you've been intimate. It's I don't know how some of y'all don't do it. Y'all think it's 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 it's, it's nice to be sweaty and hot and sit. No, please go take a shower. That's disgusting. Take a shower before too. Some of y'all nasty out there. Anyway. <clears throat> Can you tell me about how your husband turns you on? It won't help. People are different. You don't need tips on how to please me. She's another person. Ask her what she likes. She has no experience. And sometimes I wonder if she even has a sexual drive. She seems very polite, but sometimes I wonder if she is not getting wet. I love how he says she says she has no experience. That's that's a beautiful thing, brother. You got all the control. Especially if both of y'all have no experience. And this is why you should. Never mind. Let me get it. You know where I'm going. She seems very polite, but sometimes I wonder if she's not getting wet enough because she might not be turned on. What do you mean? Wonder that you you if you're having intimacy with your wife, guys, you're gonna know if she's in that mood or not. It, it feels completely different. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What is he talking about? I'm confused. I wonder if she's not getting wet because she might not be turned on, or whether I'm overthinking. I don't know how wet a woman is supposed to see. I don't think this man is married. I, I, I don't think this person's married because anybody who's had intimacy with a woman, whether in marriage or not, but if you've had intimacy with a woman, you know, she's turned on buddy, buddy, it feels completely different. I'm not trying to get too deep into the mess, but you know what I mean? For my married men out there, it feels completely different. And if you, you know, if you did do it outside of marriage, you know, it feels completely different. If you know what I mean, when she's turned on and when she's not turned on, it is a clear feeling and a complete different, a completely different um, uh, feeling <laughs> and if she's not turned on you're going to have to use outside sources to make that same uh, mechanism work if you know what I mean if you want it to work like it's supposed to if she ain't turned on brother there ain't no question about it I don't really believe this person's married anymore Frederick E. Wild Boy. It, uh, where are we? Then you have to figure it out together. If she's not comfortable to tell you she doesn't want the sex at the moment, it's a communication issue too. That's what I've been trying. We are stuck. That's what I was hoping to speak with you. I don't understand how you expect this woman to help you. I don't think, I don't think so. I think what you were hoping to see if I, if I had provide some free fat material for you, but I'm, Oh, this is a Reddit. <laughs> I know this is Reddit by looking at the avatars, but this, it just now clicked for me again, because anybody who uses the word fap Redditors. <laughs> oh man. I kind of forgot it with the Reddit conversation, even though I can see the Abby over here. I, in the way the messages kind of played out. I don't think, I don't think so. I think you were hoping that's that I'd provide some free fat material for you, but I'm not, but I'm really good at dodging. Visit subreddits, dead bedroom, dry bedroom, sex, ask Reddit after dark. No, I just prefer speaking to an actual person. I find it much more natural. Commenters on these subreddits are actual people. It's just more natural for me to talk to one person from the beginning to the end. You're not getting it, are you? I'm not going into such sex sexy sex details all my previous advice still stands and if you are look if you if and if you really look for ideas the more people give you input the better i will look for an additional perspective once i have spoken to one person in detail just my preference it's counterproductive what's more important your chatting preference or reviving your dead bedroom think about it it just requires writing a long article for a post. I don't know what to write. I just prefer asking questions. Copy your questions from here. I have conversations in the in the comments. And then she puts a picture up there that I don't feel like reading. Copy and paste these. Okay, thank you. That's very sweet of you. It is very painful for me to articulate myself. So this helps. Do you live in Russia? Yes. How's your English so good? Practice and some natural abilities, I believe. Amazing. So what do we learn today, gentlemen? Um, don't talk to the opposite sex about such things. Okay. If you're having problems in the bedroom, go to subreddits and listen to anonymous people talk about it. But from what I can tell, this is just me, little old me or big old me, however you look at me. I think 
he's never had a relationship with a woman. For him to say he doesn't know if she's turned on or not, just tells me he's not. He he. This is all a lie. And I believe that he was trying to get fat material. I do believe he was hoping that she would say, well, what you got to do is start. She he was hoping that she was going to start saying, well, you need to do this. And then you need to take her leg and do this and do that and do this. And that. Mm-mm. Congratulations. Y'all know the rest. Peace.